Hello and welcome. In this video I will try to make a monster out of an elephant. This Basi was sent to me by Ulrich from Austria. His YouTube uh, channel is No Trick Pony, lock picking, I think. Um, and he um, attached a note with it saying help and uh, refers with number six to the attached letter which reads uh, help the little one grow stronger this poor little Basi is well a poor little Basi help him to get stronger make a quest oh dear Celestia make a challenge log out of it and send it back to me or some pony else all right and that's what I want to try in this video first we will have a look at it uh, how it is currently so how poor it is actually and then I will try to make it a little bit stronger and make a monster out of an elephant. Alright, I've prepared my rice. So here it's climbed up. Ah, here is the bidding. You can see it's not really a challenging bidding. Five pin. Uh, Euro cylinder with a Yale by one keyway works, no problem, and is locked up. So let's see how poor it is. I apply tension from the opposite side of the pins and just try using a rake. Oops. And it's open. Yep, Ulrich, you're right. That's a poor little Basi. So, what can we do with that? First, the bidding is not really challenging, as I said. Uh, I will try to uh, find different pins and will adapt the uh, bidding accordingly to get some deep cuts here at one and a deeper cut um, at three. And then, yeah. I will try to modify the pins and chambers and so on. But first, uh, let me cut it and we will look at the current uh, pin situation. Yeah, it's locked back up. So, yeah, first challenge is to remove the clips. Okay, um, I'll be back when uh, the clips are gone. <laughs> so I'm back. Uh, took me about five minutes to get these clips off. But now it's done, so clips are off and we'll see how this gets apart. This is this uh, smart mechanism to uh, change the position of the cam by pressing this button. So it came off very easily. Pull it out a little bit to get the cam out of the way. So now I can use my follower. All right, I will leave the Bible as is and first concentrate my attention to the key pins and to the bidding. Right, so let's see what we have. Plug is nice and round, which is nice, which is good, uh, not flattened. Then we have the pins, brass pins. All right, so what I will try to do now is um, I will see what pins I have, longer pins for position one and three, and um, adapt the bidding of the key to meet the uh, longer key pins if I find some and yeah when I have the stuff uh, together I'll be back. 
So I will keep 5, 4 and 2 as they are and um, only use longer key pins for 1 and 3 as I said. So 1 and, one and 3 I want to make deeper. These are the original pins and I found one uh, long key pin that fits to this lock. So according to the diameter it uh, fits in the hole. So I will put it in like so. You can see I have to file away quite a bit from the from the key. Uh, but for three I didn't find um, a pin that, that fits. So I have really a lot of pins as you can see but all of those are uh, too thick and these are not long enough. So I took one of those uh, which are too thick actually and uh, yeah <laughs> modified it in my um, drilling machine. Uh, not a really nice job but it works. Now it fits to the diameter of the of the plug and you can see it's a little bit uh, longer than the uh, original pin. Works. Uh, yeah, next will be a uh, filing of the key. So here is my key clamped in a vise and here is the plug with all the pins. You can see one and three are too high so I will start filing with my uh, Rectangular file at one and try to make it fit. Mm -hmm. Getting better. So I almost messed up the key. You can see the deep cut at one but that's not the right position. The right position um, of the key pin center is here at this edge. And after I recognized it, I slowly filed away a bit of this edge and I managed um, yeah, to get it work. So at, at number three I have to really take care to, to find the right place to file. So let's see. That is one, two, three, should be here. So then it's not just a monster I will make, it's an ugly monster. Everything is uh, flat. I test it with the plug holder. Seems to be all right, but he doesn't want to go out and in. So I will uh, get off the pins and yeah, clean up the key, and uh, then I'll be back. All right, I'm done. I did manage not to mess up the bidding while cleaning it up. Uh, goes in and out more or less smooth. But the key is not really uh, a beauty. But well, what can you expect if uh, you want to create a monster? So, the monster key is done. Now let's have a look at the uh, rest of the pins. Then I will decide about uh, further modifications. Okay, one is uh, standard, two is standard, three is standard, four is standard. Wow, all standard. Well, dump, dump out the springs. These are nice little steel springs. All right, so. Yeah, let me think about um, the changes I want to make 
uh, to the plug and uh, maybe to the Bible and to the pins and then I'll be back uh, with my first idea. Alright, so I've made up my mind. You can see there is a lot of space left in 2, 4 and 5 and therefore I will uh, insert spools in 1 and 3. There is almost no space left so I will add standard pins and will try to make them uh, overset traps and let me quickly note what I will uh, what I plan to do so here are the key pins I sketch them all to the same uh, length um, but of course I know that's uh, not true so and here are the, the drivers so Key pin 1 stays as it is, but I will try to uh, threaten the chamber in the Bible and give it a, a weak spring. Then we will have uh, stack 2, there I will make serrations on the key pin and threaten the chamber. Um, here I want to have a spool and I will add a uh, strong spring. Three is like uh, one, so this is one, two, three, four, and five. Three is like one uh, threading in the chamber on the of the Bible and uh, nothing else. Four is serrated and threading in the chamber of the plug. Same at five threading and serrating and spools here. So all right and strong springs. All right, so this is my plan uh, regarding the modifications of the Bible. I hope that I can pull out uh, the plugs here at one and three and then I can uh, taper them. Alright, so let's see how that goes. So you can see that the first chamber is already uh, completed. I have threaded the, the chamber and added a set screw. So I will show you how I did it with uh, chamber number three. First I take a file to uh, make the surface flat, just like so. Then I take a punch uh, to get a little dent for my drill, for my drill bit. Try to find the center. Then I use a two millimeter uh, drill bit. So the hole is um, completely through the through this uh, little uh, plug here. Then I take uh, something to grab on the on the edge and try to to pull it out. doesn't seem to work uh, uh, not as good as uh, for chamber number one um, I will um, threaten this this little plug here then maybe my tool um, grabs better on the uh, on the serrations Possibly also use a screw, which 
just find one to pull it out. Okay, found a screw. So now let's see if I can pull it out. And <laughs> we're done. So this little plug is is off. Chamber is uh, empty. Now I can continue to make the threading. I think I used the wrong one. There are two of those. Um, one is the yeah, the one with a um, shallow uh, cuts here that you have to use first, and then you take the the finalizer, so to speak. So let's take the one with the lower cuts. Uh, goes much better. Let me complete uh, the Bible and clean it up and then I'll be back. Okay, cleaned up the Bible and you can see the threading all the way through. Here the place for the set screws and I also um, selected the remaining drivers. Uh, when we look at the initial um, idea it was uh, spool at 2, 4 and 5. I've changed it and I will insert a double serrated at number 4 instead because I just found it and yeah I like it so <laughs> I will put it in there and I also um, pulled out the right sp springs we have weak springs at 1 and 3 and strong springs springs at 2 4 and 5 and yeah the spools here are also already present what remains to do is to uh, threaten the chambers in the plug at 2, 4 and 5 and make serrations at 2, 4 and 5 on the key pins. So hold on. So I marked the chambers where I want to make the threading and I just try to do it uh, in the hand. Maybe that's already sufficient. Yep. Very nice threading. So I will continue with the remaining two chambers and then I'll be back. Okay, so I'm done. You can see the, the threading in two, four and five and I filed away the Earth on the surface of the plug. It's smooth again. You can see it turns without any problems. Now what remains to do is to make serrations on the key pins 2, 4 and 5. And after I've done this I will reassemble the former poor little Basi and will have created my monster.
So here we are. One pin is done. Well, let me complete my work and then I'll be back. So here I'm back. It's done. Two, four, and five have serrations. And well, maybe not the nicest pins, but actually the best I could do with my hand drill uh, machine and with my saw blade. Yeah, so according to the initial idea, everything is uh, complete except uh, stack number four. Here I've decided not to use the spool but to use the double serrated because it's so nice. Um, yeah, before I reassemble the uh, lock, let me show you. These are the initial uh, or the original. Uh, driver pins, you can see that they are round on, on both ends. And I've therefore uh, chosen to uh, exchange them by other drivers which are flat, which is much much better regarding uh, picking resistance. Yeah, so everything is complete. Uh, I will reassemble the lock and make a final test with the key. So it's complete. You wanted help, and you received help. The former poor little Basi has become the Basi monster with a terrible ugly key. So let's see if it works. It's a little bit sticky, but the plug turned with no problems. Yeah, so Ulrich, this will go out to you in the next days. I hope you will have fun picking it and ah, yeah, I will mark my locks that I make with the P sign so that you can easily identify as uh, made by Potty314 Potty Pie. Alright, thanks for watching, happy picking! Bye bye!